Good day fellow modelers, Mr. Handy back with a handy review for you. Uh, today we're going to take a look at uh, a release, new release actually from Wolfpack. Uh, this is a re-release of their uh, T2 Buckeye, but this time they've done it in the wonderful camouflage of the uh, Top Gun bird. So I guess a couple of these birds from VF43 were used. Um... VF-43 being the Challengers at uh, Nass Oceana in Virginia. Um, and uh, apparently they were used uh, as uh, aggressors. So, anyways, it is a, re it's, it is a reissue of uh, Wolfpack's T2. So basically you're just getting the same thing uh, you were getting in the original box. Uh, the only difference is... Of course, the decals. So, <clears throat> anyways, this is what we've got. Let's take a look at the instructions. So, as you can see, uh, typical instructions. A little bit of information on top. And then you've got your part. Uh, your parts assembly on here. And it goes into... Just doing all the uh, assembly of the kit. Uh, it's nice that they actually give you a little bit of uh, um, some pictures uh, of uh, some of the spots. Uh, so that you uh, can maybe do a little bit more detailing if you wish. And then of course we get into the camouflages. And your final camouflage on the back. Um... Take a look for those of you who haven't actually seen this kit before. Um, it's been in multiple guises, so uh, they do a bunch of the uh, the training uh, squadrons, and then they do the uh, Hellenic uh, version as well, the camouflage Hellenic version. So here's your main sprue with the uh, the body. And the wings. Uh, this is uh, nice. You get the uh, you get the choice of flaps down, so everything is engraved. Um, it's not super super fine, but it is doable. It's nice. It's definitely uh, better than the Matchbox kit, I think. So. Here's your flaps to have down, and your tail fins. There is no real detail on the inside. Uh, you'll have to make do with what you've got in the kit or scratch. And here is the second sprue you get with the uh, basically everything else. So, um, there's your cockpit. It's, uh, I mean, the only detail you can see are these, the little, uh, uh, pieces and bits that you see on the, uh, consoles. There is, uh, raised throttle, throttle quadrant, but that's about it for your detail. There's your main landing gear. And your wheels. Uh, these, of course, are the uh, jets, and then there's a bunch of air intakes. Uh, that's the top to the uh, control panel. There is one of your control panels. There's your ejection seats and the sides. Uh, there's the uh, control sticks. There's your arrestor gear. There's your combing for your instrument panel. Here is the bottom portion. And then there's your main instrument panel for the front. Uh, all the detail, of course, being provided as decals. So, and then there is some detail on the inside of the wheel wells. Yeah, you can see it right there. Oops, sorry. Of... 
So a pretty basic kit, but a uh, little bit better detail, I think, than the uh, the only other kit that was out there in 72nd scale, which was the uh, uh, Matchbox kit. Uh, I can't seem to see. I'm trying to find my exacto knife. Oh. Uh. All right. Well, just grab another. Do a quick cut here and we'll take a look at the clears. So of course for the clear, you don't have a whole heck of a lot. It's just basically your uh, your canopy and uh, some of the uh, the landing lights. So canopy is actually pretty clear. Your landing lights, and that's about it. And then we'll take a peek at the decal set. And it looks like you get, you might get a mask in this as well. Uh, yes. So that is your mask, painting mask. And there of course is your decals. And as you can see, uh, the decals provide your instrument panels and some of the other detail, so. It is nice um, that they provide uh, two sets of decals. Yes, there's only one set of uh, a National Insignia, but there are two sets of uh, unit decals, which is nice. So you just have to go through your spares box and uh, find some extra decals if you have another T2 Buckeye so that you can uh, create because of course there's two uh, versions here your first version here which is uh, Bureau number 158904 uh, and then you have uh, Bureau number 158910 so the camouflages are just a little bit different um, but uh, there you go. It's nice to be able to do both of them in that. And so, anyways, that's it for this one. Uh, as I said, this is just a reissue of uh, of their T two uh, C Buckeye kit. Um, like I said, they do uh, multiple boxings of this. Um, it's getting a, a little bit harder to find now. Uh, the, uh, the boxing of the, the Hellenic Air Force camouflage version is extremely difficult to find. Um, I don't think they're redoing that anymore. So, uh, but, um, the, uh, this has just been re-released, or this has been released, so it would, should be readily available. This one I got on Hobby Link Japan, uh, pre-ordered, so just got it. I think it was released a couple months ago, but uh, I just got it here uh, last week. So, um, yeah, that's it for this one. I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and uh, happy modeling, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.